Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, this short presentation is the second part of the ongoing investigation into Siebel Open UI. Specifically, this will uh, review a number of UI elements comparing the high interactivity with the new so Siebel Open UI. In addition to these uh, slides and this uh, audio cast, there are a couple of uh, video sequences uh, which make reference to some unexpected behavior which are embedded in the uh, slide share version of this screencast. So, the agenda is to highlight and compare UI differences from an end user perspective uh, so that anyone who is considering uh, the challenges related to user adoption or change management will have a little more idea of the level of changes and we'll try and keep it to standard non-open UI terminology, so pick list, multi-value groups, and so on. And this is based on Siebel Sales 8.1.1.9 with no configuration and only uh, a fresh install. Let's start with the calendar. Uh, visually, the two are reasonably similar. Uh, the open UI has uh, a number of advantages. The scroll bar on the scroll wheel of the mouse works very well on the open UI. Uh, allowing you to scroll up and down through the day. Um, the open UI, the small blue uh, plus symbol next to the word today is uh, the button used to create a new appointment which isn't particularly intuitive and there's the word unscheduled which appears up there um, which I'm not entirely sure is meant what is meant to represent. Uh, the traditional My Calendar and High Interactivity we're familiar with it has no drag and drop feature in the high interactivity, which Open UI does have, so you can drag and drop an appointment if you need to reschedule it just by using the mouse. Adding an appointment from the calendar uh, in the normal high interactivity, it involves uh, clicking a button and then going to a Outlook style um, busy and scheduling uh, view. Uh, in the Open UI, curiously, clicking the plus button pops up a very simple and, uh, to be honest, really not very friendly new event box uh, where one can enter a description. Um, it's very hard to know uh, how this is uh, supposed to allow help me create an opportunity to create an appointment. Um, however, right click in the calendar. Uh, I mentioned this simply because it surprised me that so much of the right click in the open UI Produces options such as inspect element, uh, copy link address, uh, save link as, which are while they are not necessarily going to damage anything, uh, they merely serve to confuse. The right click in the high interactivity, of course, produces no effect whatsoever. Pick applets. In Siebel high interactivity, I guess we're all familiar with this, the uh, pop up uh, modal window which, is which has fixed frames so that nothing can be moved. Uh, it has uh, a find feature and we can scroll up and down. In the open UI, the pick window is uh, resizable both horizontally and vertically, which allows the user to inadvertently hide um, not just the buttons, but also most of the columns and indeed, for that matter, most of the uh, search facilities. Apart from that, uh, no real changes. Moving on to a traditional drop-down pick list, the open UI has the advantage of being able to display uh, long pick list values in uh, wraparound format. So you can see thir third-party training center is actually one value and is displayed on two lines with a nice neat um, wraparound. Querying in a list applet in open UI has a rather nice feature is at the top of the list applet. This in this case is the account list applet. There is a small uh, window next to the query button and f followed by a uh, drop down, a little bit like the find starting with uh, feature that you find in many pick lists. However, you can simply type in a criteria and hit enter and it will execute the criteria against the field that is in the select box to the right. Normal query facilities are available both obviously in the open UI and in high interactivity. I help is a a non-starter at the moment in uh, open UI which means that if you have significant investment in the how do I style uh, I help this could be a bit of a showstopper um, you cannot import um, or at least I, we did not manage to import existing I helps into the open UI the f import I help item 
uh, dialogue didn't seem to work properly and in any case the iHelp window displays as this strange blue title bar uh, with nothing else in it. Tree applets, uh, often one of the uh, worst performing and least appreciated applets of the high interactivity, um, particularly because they required you to click on the little red arrow that you can see on the left hand side when the list was too long. Um, in the open UI I it, it's quite nicely done. Um, the, the, the clicking and opening and expanding and contracting is nice and smooth. Uh, when you add a new account to the list applet, the um, tree on the left hand side refreshes and closes up so you have to open it all again to find the account. Um, in addition, if you create lots of accounts in this window, the, uh, the account applet, the tree applet, uh, grows in height and becomes quite long, uh, which may confuse users because it ends up using quite a lot of screen real estate. Date and time on the left hand side we have the high interactivity uh, traditional date and time and time zone widget. Uh, on the open UI uh, as you can see there are a couple of things worth mentioning. First of all the time can no longer be entered manually it is only entered through those sliders uh, and uh, you admittedly you do have the addition of a now button. Um, you may also just see that the calendar tab is actually showing through the calendar widget. Um, we reproduced this on several occasions. Uh, this is a version of Chrome we installed today from the Google website today, the uh, 16th of December 2012, so it's uh, right bang up to date. And we could actually click on the calendar icon and go back to the calendar while we were trying to choose a date, uh, which was altogether very confusing. Um, so uh, still a bit of work needs to be done in there. The month view in the open UI and the high interactivity basically similar, uh, with the exception that the open UI, if you have a particularly long description, as you can see, it bleeds into the following week, uh, whereas in high interactivity it is reduced and restricted in size. Multi-value groups, uh, which we're all, I'm sure, familiar with, particularly on the left-hand side with the shuttle applets that you can uh, see. Um, with the add and remove buttons in OpenUI um, it's implemented using a single window with show available and uh, the button that you can see there which switches between the essentially the association at the, the association applet and the MVG applet showing you the choices you have made or the choices that you can made um, that you can make we found it a little confusing but it does work in Siebel High Interactivity, one feature that's appreciated by users is the ability to be like Excel, to drag and drop columns and resize them as you go, uh, personalizing your environment. Uh, unfortunately, th this doesn't work in the open UI. The only way we can find to uh, change the order is to pass through the columns display dialog, which works as in high interactivity. One uh, unexplained or unexpected feature was um, when we were on the home page, for example, and we attempted to do what I call a drag scroll down, which is where you uh, click in a blank piece of screen and drag and scroll down, nothing happens in Siebel. Um, it's the kind of thing that you might do if you're using a wireless mouse and you accidentally hold the mouse down and scroll down with the wheel. In OpenUI, it simply resulted in scrolling down the page to the point where the menu, the toolbar, and the tabs all disappeared and were no longer visible. Uh, there was no scroll bar, so in the end we had to click the back button and uh, return to the home page. 